All right, we'll take questions for Kyle. Mark, first question here on two. Kyle, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Um, for lack of a better word, all I can think of when I think of Kawhi Leonard is this guy's a beast. <laughs> Discuss. It's a good one. I mean, I, I think um, I, I think he's able to. He's been able to show his full repertoire this whole season, and the playoffs has kind of made it even more of a you know bigger stage. And um, you know, through through the regular season, he's had big games like this before, but he hasn't played the minutes. So you know, you give him more minutes, you give him more shots, you give him more touches, you give him more time to be on the floor. Um, I think he's the best two-way basketball player in the NBA, um, and uh, he just he just goes. And you know, I, I, I've seen some stuff from him this year that just you say, "Wow!" I mean, you do you say, "Wow!" And uh, you appreciate the work that he's put in. You know, he, he works extremely hard at his game and and works extremely hard on his body, and he loves this basketball thing, loves it. Uh, just being able to, I, I didn't know like he was such a great shooter. Um, I didn't know he was such a great, you know, he's this year alone. Um, you say, wow, because he's got creative, he got, he, he's gotten even better of a playmaker, right? Um, early in the year, you know, the, but then throughout the season, he's become a better playmaker. Um, and, you know, he'll have games where 12 rebounds, 15 rebounds. You look, I think it was one game, I, I don't know if it was a play, I don't know what it was, he was like, 30, 30, and like 15 rebounds, something like that. I mean, you just say, God, Jesus, like that's, that's a crazy stat line for a guy like that. I mean, he just, he just does it on both ends. Tim in the back left. Kyle, Tim Reynolds with the AP. You're still in control of the series. You're still up 3-2. You still have two more chances at this thing. What has the mood been like the last 48 hours, and how quickly did it take, or how, how long did it take to get over that you were – Right there, that you uh, had a, they had a shot of it the other night. Stay, stay in the moment. You know, we didn't have, we didn't finish the game out. Um, we all sat back, we watched it, watched the film today. I got out here, got better. Um, now we're going to go out here and get a little practice in, talk to you guys, and uh, prepare for you know for the next game. You know, we understand that the moment is the moment, but we still staying in it. And um, you know, we're not too up, we're not too down. You know, we're just you know one game. Hey, we lost it. Now we got to move on to the next one. Over on the far right. Alvaro Martini, ESPN. Uh, road teams are 4-1 and one in the finals. When you look at the splits for both Toronto and Golden State, they're shooting better overall. They're markedly shooting better from three, and they have more assists on the road than at home. Is that just the way things happen? Is there anything behind it you can, you can explain to us? We've got two really good teams, um, two really good um, basketball groups. Um, poise groups. Um, you know, for us, we just go out there and we try to play our game the same way, no matter home or on the road. Um, you know, we we understand on the road we got to be um, even more better because of you know the situation. But for us, as as a group, we just go in there, and we stay focused, to stay locked in on that moment of being in the road and being together. Over in the fourth row, in the center, the microphone. Guido Padilla, filter the show, Kyle. <clears throat> I, I, I want you to talk about the mental part of the game because um, there's a lot of talk about strategies from back and forth. But mentally, especially when the moments switch sometimes, um, especially in the game five that you guys had the opportunity to win at home, and then that switch plus the KD brings a little spirit to the Golden State Warriors. Can you talk about how you prepare mentally to overcome um, the spirit of the, of the Warriors? We just go out there and do our job. You know, we're a professional basketball team. We've been in the same situation. You know, we've been the same team all year. You know, we don't get too up. We don't get too down. We live in the moment. You know, we understand that today is today and tomorrow will be another, you know, test for our group. Um, we'll be in a row. We'll be against a team, you know, that'll be ready to go. But, you know, we'll be ready to play too. Robert, next row back. Robert Latow, BSO, obviously the ultimate goal is to win a championship. But how satisfying would it be to be able to win a championship and close down their building at the same time? Yeah, get there when you get there. Right now, we're just focusing on how we continue to get better. You know, tomorrow will be a tough task. Um, and we'll be ready to go. We'll be ready to play basketball. You know, 48 minutes on that hardwood and um, go out there and do our jobs and play extremely hard. Next question over here on the aisle. Sandy Chanak with Yahoo Sports. Kyle, the last game, Steph and Clay got up combined 27 threes. A lot of them were open looks, too. I think they made about 12. What can you guys do tomorrow night to make sure it's more difficult for them? Stay locked in. You know, I think they um, 
They got a lot, they got loose last game, and you know those guys want to get off shots. They're going to get up their attempts. They're going to make shots, um, but you got to make them you know a little bit tougher sometimes. But um, you know we had some loose ball. Uh, you know they got a couple of loose ball offensive rebounds, um, transition breakdowns. Um, you know, listen, you're, you're not going to stop them from shooting threes, but you can make them a little bit tougher and try to contest them better. But you know, it's a lot of things that we learned from that film that we feel like we could do a better job of. Towards the center. Kyle Palantuna, CSPN Brazil. You recently spoke to the chemistry of the team and how uh, Nick Nurse maybe yelled at you guys maybe twice mm -hmm. all year. Um, have you had a coach quite like him uh, with that calmness? And uh, what do you think that's done for the team? Uh, I have. Uh, Rick Adelman, um, very similar. Never yelled, never yelled, really, never really talked. <laughs> um, great coach. Um, I think with what Nick has done is kind of, you know, keep the um, the mentality of our team the same, right? You know, he doesn't get too up. He doesn't get too down. He yelled at us literally, I think, twice this year. Um, that kind of just attests to, you know, his confidence in who he is as a coach, who we are as a team, how he believes in us. Um, and just go out there and, you know, we're all, we, are, we are all grown men. And, you know, he talked to us as grown men and we, you know, do our jobs and come in and work and we be ready to go. Michael towards the center. Kyle, Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Um, when you're guarding Clay or Steph or getting in an action where you're going to have to pick up Clay or Steph in the, down the stretch, like in game five, is the approach a little different because it's them? Like how much more uh, of an awareness is, do you have to take because of, of the, the guys it's, who have the ball? It's all game. It ain't just down the stretch. You got to be aware when they got, when they're on the floor, you got to be aware of them. I mean, they're they're probably one. Of, they're, they're probably two of the top, you know, whatever all-time shooters in the game of basketball. So when they step on the floor, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, you know, you got to be aware of them at all times. All right. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you.